Hello and welcome to a more spiritual In the Man Cave with Michael. I'm actually upstairs in my man cave. Today I want to talk to you about something that uh, someone mentioned to me and they did not recommend me buy these. They did not recommend me actually to use them. It was brought up as a metaphor for something else. And however, it's one of those things where you have an hour-long conversation and just one thing just sticks in your mind and you just can't you just can't let go and you just have to follow through with that mild obsession with that one thing from the conversation and that one thing was mala beads and this person talked about how there's 108 beads and that you count uh the mantras on the beads she says buddhist monks might you know say a mantra 100,000 times and they use these 100 and the 108 has, has a significance. You can look it up. I don't know everything about this. I'm very new to this. But, um, uh, you know, they count, you know, the, the mantra, you know, some, you know, if you go on YouTube and look up all like the white girl basic yogis, they're like, your mantra could be, I am beautiful. I am beautiful. You just say it 108 times or whatever. So anyway, mala beads. So it just stuck in my head and I could not get mala beads out of my head. So I went on Amazon and I had to buy some. I just had to buy some, but I actually Googled mala beads for men. Cause if you put mala beads explanation into YouTube, what they are, you're going to get a lot of basic bitches that do yoga. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's their deal. Which is a lot of white girls. It's a ton of white girls. And I was like, you know what? These malas look like, uh, like they're, like they're, they're from women. I, I don't know. I, I just Googled mala beads for men. And this company came up. And they had a set that I thought really spoke to me because the the um, stones or whatever the beads are made out of, in my opinion, from what I've kind of read about mala beads, should uh, be meaningful to you. So these I felt were more meaningful to me, maybe a little more masculine, especially in the way the mala looks. But then that's just kind of my opinion. I don't think. This, I mean, women can use these. It, I, I don't think mala beads have are gender specific. Maybe if they're like pink, I don't know. But even then, if the stone means something to you and has an energy that you need, a pink stone is what you need. But anyway, I digress. I bought a set of mala beads. I was just drawn to them. I had to own a set of them based on this conversation. It just hit me. And when something hits you, you got to follow through. So... Here's the box. I got these off Amazon. They're called Meru beads. Now, when I bought them, I did not know they were called Meru beads. The Amazon thing did not say Meru beads. It just listed the stones it was made out of, that it was a 108 like full mala. You can get like mala uh, bracelets that are whatever 108 divided by 2 is. I don't do math. I, I sing songs. Um, so you can get like bracelets and like different mala stuff, but I won like the full 108 mala necklace. You can, this is like, I'm Catholic. I don't have a rosary on me, but this is like a rosary if you're Catholic. Um, obviously I think these probably predate rosaries, but if they're prayer beads. It's the same kind of concept, but you don't wear, um, a rosary as a necklace, but this you can actually wear as a necklace, as a bracelet. You can Google it. There's a bunch of different ways to use it. But Meru is very special to me because I am also obsessed with ice climbing, though I don't think I would ever do it myself because I would definitely die. Um, but Meru is the name of a mountain in the Himalaya. Uh, I'll read to you that it's a very special mountain. It is one that is very difficult to climb. There is a really awesome documentary called Meru about the first successful climbing of the shark's fin again I, i'm not going to explain all this google it if you want to know more but when this came and it said may beads i was blown away because i'm a huge ice climbing fan i've seen the movie everest with josh brolin literally a billion times I used to watch it every day i became obsessed with the himalaya and mount everest and i was like i have to go to base camp i even when i lived in manhattan went to the north face store in Midtown, because a lot of ice climbers use North Face, I was looking at like ice, like legit shit, like ice picks and stuff. Like I wasn't gonna buy it, buy them, but because I lived in Manhattan. But anyway, I'm thinking, why are they selling ice picks in Manhattan? But it doesn't matter. Anyway, so um, this is very, so this just this is just like perfect. It's when the universe comes together, 
and the most proper thing lands in your lap. So mayrubeads.com, check it out. All right, so this is the box here. All right, the Mayru beads slip out like this, but I'm going to read the back. Oop, excuse me. What Mayru is. Okay, Mayru, the sacred mountain of Hindu and Buddhist cosmology. It is considered to be the center of all the physical, metaphysical, and spiritual universes. And if you watch the documentary Mayru, um, one of the people that they interview actually discusses that Meru is like the center of the universe where like these rivers meet. It's like where heaven and hell and earth, it's very an important, very spiritual. So let's open it up again. It just kind of slides out. Oh, I, they're in upside down or I don't know. It doesn't matter. So they come in this little pouch, but before I unveil them, let's see what I got in here. Okay, guided mantra meditation video. Um, start your meditation journey today. Gain access to the guided meditation video from Meru Beads. You will, we, um, Yaz will guide you. Y-A-S, Yaz. Yaz will guide you on choosing your own mantras and goes over the mantra meditation. To um, access it, simply go to mar, uh, mayrubeads.com slash guided meditation. Happy meditation, Meru Beads. So it's a little advertisement for them. Hey, look, it's a pink mala. Remember I mentioned pink earlier, if that's your jam? But again, that's a certain stone that might have a certain energy that you need. All right, so why did I buy this one? Well, because of this. I don't know if you can read it. I am order. This mala is made of labradite, obsidian, and is it hematite? Yes, hematite. I'm, I'm very new to this. But they have specific energies, which is why I bought them. Okay, so let's read. Because you can get one made of all obsidian if you want, if you just want the properties of that. But I like that I had all three. So let me read it to you. Determination plus strength plus grounding. Think of, if you know me personally, what I'm going through, what we're all going through, which is quarantine brings strength during challenging times is there a time any more challenging for not just me but for anyone else um, um all of us right now right it banishes fears and insecurities and increases perseverance blocks negative negativity protects against depression and clears confusion that i was like i am order that's what i really really wanted i wanted this kind of energy in my space so that, those are two and then there's another one in here let's get it out this one is just like welcome to the family here are your um hand knotted authentic tibetan mala 100 authentic gemstones lava rocks and precious woods because these the beads can be, can be made out of wood as well um with a super soft silk tassel Help you during your meditation journey and just kind of, you know, talks about what's available on mayrubeads.com. You know, gives the Instagram and Facebook and then 20% off your next purchase. You know, if you wanted uh, some more beads or whatever they, the rest. I haven't gone to the website, so I don't know what else they offer besides Mala. But I'm definitely going to check it out to... Maybe do a guided meditation, learn more. But I've done a lot of research on how to use them, basically. So, let's take a look. Little pouch here. May repeat. Let's open her up. Okay. So, here they are. So, you'll notice it has three. There's the obsidian. This is the... Oops. I think this is the hematite. And this is the labradite. I think. Yeah. And then there's more obsidian down here. Okay, so. All right, so it's not connected yet. <clears throat> so these are the mala beads. There's 108. A little, just a little tag that says, you know, Meru on it for the brand. And then here's the, this is called the Aguru bead. This is not included in the 108. And you don't like count this as one of the mantras, right? Like the 108, right? 
And then this is the tassel that is at the end. There's generally, from what I understand, the tassel at the end. And then this can actually come off. So why would I want to take the tassel off? Well, if I take the tassel off, I can wrap this around my wrist. That's usually your dominant wrist, but if I wear a watch, so I'd probably use my left wrist. I can wrap it around. That might be too tight, but I'm just showing for, you know, video purposes. And I can, you know, attach it there and wear it as a, a, a bracelet. Of course, done a lot better than that. But what, you know, what you'll see if you Google this for yourself, put the tassel back on. You'll see people, and maybe people use the, the tassel even as a bracelet, but, but I, I wouldn't. So you take this end, put it through, do it like that, and there we go. There's my Mala necklace. There it is. I am order. So it's kind of like, why did I get these? I'm not really, I'm obviously not a Buddhist. I've wanted to get into meditation for a long time. And that's what my motivation here was. I couldn't get mala beads out of my head, so I had to own some. And let me say this, just real quick before I forget. When you Google, you know, mala beads on Amazon, you're going to see $8 ones. You're going to see five or three, four, five hundred dollar ones. This one was like 60 bucks. I thought it was very reasonable for legit stones, the kind of energy I wanted and I just thought they weren't going to be $8 plastic ones. They were going to be nice. But I did not think $300 for mala beads was necessary for my stage of spirituality in this. Whatever it is. Whatever my stage is. But anyway. So here's how you use them from what I, I understand. Now you, you, you hold them like this. Okay, specifically like this, not like this. It has to do with what the fingers like represent in this spirituality and, and these uh, religions that, you know, use this like Catholics would use like a rosary. The religions where these are their prayer, prayer beads. So I think it's like one's earth. This is fire, sky. You don't want your mantras to be on fire. Just Google it, please. I'm not a master of this. This is very new. So you hold it like this, and then you say the mantra, and as you say it, you move the a bead, and you move the bead, and you move the bead. And then eventually you get all the way around, and when you get here, right before the guru bead, you don't keep going. You flip it, and you start over, and you pull it towards you. Is, uh, yes, you pull it towards you. So the goal is when you say your mantra. Now, your mantra could be, I could say, I am order. I am order. In, in your mind, of course. I am order. I am order. And you say it over and over again. However, I really like using these kind of mantras with music and someone else saying it. It helps my mind calm itself and put itself in a more meditative state. And this is Rama Dasa Sase Suhang, which is the universal healing mantra for yourself and for others. So let's just listen to it. was one out now I'm on two because he's starting over now obviously you can do this yourself so you can go Rama Dasa Sase Sohong Rama Dasa Sase Sohong in your mind Rama Dasa Sase Sohong and you just keep counting Rama Dasa Sase Sohong pull towards you Rama Dasa Sase Sohong and you just keep going and then it puts your mind in a meditative state you're repeating this mantra over and over again. But again, you can, you know, look up your own mantra. Um, it could be, in, you know, whatever you want it to be. Like I said, I am order or I am peace. You know, I'm perseverance. You know, I don't know. Whatever you want it to be. But I'm a huge fan of these, these kind of mantras. Um, I like doing it with the, 
you know, on my iPad here with the music. I use YouTube and um, this guy's really good. Um, Dion Guru, Dr. Uh, Nipun um, Agarwal, 1.07 million subscribers. I like his stuff a lot. But so there it is, guys. These are my mala beads. I think they're awesome. I've uh, kind of had an interesting, maybe spiritual awakening with these. But listen, anything to help deal with what's going on personally in the world, especially now, I think meditation, you know, and if you think about it, you know, let's say you're Catholic or you're Christian or you're Jewish, you know, like Muslim. What are prayers? Prayers are meditation. You know, if you sit and say the Hail Mary 108 times and you say those words, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among Mary, and blessed of you is thy room, Jesus, holy Mary, mother of God, pray for our sins now and forever to the day. Da, da, da. Wait, what was it? Pray for our sins. Now into the hour of our death, amen. Then it, it starts to, you know, it starts to sink in and you get this feeling and, you're, and all of a sudden you're, you're meditating on those words and it's that same kind of thing. So whatever, what, whether it's this or a rosary or whatever you need spiritually, to whether you're religious or not, to help you get through what's going on in your life, especially now in quarantine, do it. And for me right now in my life, it's these mala beads. And it's this specific mala with these specific stones and their energies. So thanks for watching another edition of In the Man Cave with Michael. We'll see you next time.